Thank you. There are many different thoughts running through my head. I'm not going to talk about Suresh yet and tell you some of those thoughts. The first thing is, who put me after Suresh as a speaker? The second thing is, they say in public speaking, you should always be aware of the context and the audience. So let me reflect my awareness of you. First of all, I learned today that you're called Monters. So what a wonderful name. I also learned in my short stay here, you have maple infused everything. <laughs> maple sugar, maple syrup, maple bacon, bacon uh, maple sausage, and I like them all. So that's great. I also note that I follow the main event, so I'm sort of the dessert portion of this celebration. And in public speaking, there is a cardinal rule, and that is the mind can only absorb what the seat can endure. So I hope you endure just a little bit longer. They do give us time constraints, so it's only six minutes of endurance on my part. I mean, for, of you on my part. I also want to tell you, when I was listening to the choir, I was just really inspired, really touched. It reminds me of everything that is right. A man who spent his career, his talents, his energies, in terms of learning his discipline, giving back to the students, building institutions and partnerships, a search committee that worked really hard to find the right person, it reminds me of everything that is good, because I think a land-grant institution embraces that mission, and of course, everything that is hopeful. My heart swells for Suresh, and also for the University of Vermont. I'm grateful that you have me here as part of your celebration to mark a new inflection point. An inflection that begins now with the leadership of Suresh, with new energies, and probably new ways to fulfill the very tall and noble mission of a land-grant university. No doubt, your search committee did a lot of work and put in a lot of rigor in reviewing Suresh. You're now acquainted with this profile, his prolific research and grants, patents, commitment to teaching, his love for the arts, impressive growth in research grants, and a string of recognition by colleagues in and outside of Purdue. But these considerations, impressive as they are, now should recede into the background because your focus is not about the past. Today, we are all here. We're standing at the precipice of the future. And I would say, in my mind, if I were you, I think it's natural to wonder how Suresh will be worthy worthy of you, students, faculty, donors, alumni, trustees, how he will be worthy of your collective accomplishments and how, most important, he will be worthy of your talents and your energies. And not to forget your aspirations, both personal and institutional, how will you be better off together? How will you jointly step up to make the world more livable, more prosperous, and more compassionate? What value and values will Suresh bring as a leader? These questions really boil down to the singular requirement for leadership and I call that trust. Trust around two dimensions. Where will Suresh lead you, and how will he lead you? How will he create value from your work and open doors that expand the impact and the reach 
of your scholarship. Who is so rash as a person whose words and actions as a leader can build up or tear down people, can enable or hinder progress, can energize or dampen spirits? Let me take up these two questions. Where will Suresh lead you? I hope you like to travel, as you will surely cross geographic, disciplinary, cultural boundaries. Suresh will take you, urge you to cross boundaries which divide laboratories from seminar tables, from administrative suites to the faculty offices and student residences, from gown to town, from Burlington to the rest of Vermont, and even the US and the world. He will coax you beyond comfort zones and make you venture across sectors to build relationships between academia government, practitioners, business, and civil society. Suresh is simply unmatched in connecting dots. Connecting dots is the signature of Suresh leadership. This has enabled him, as a mechanical engineer, to harvest the largest growth in the funding for the life sciences at Purdue, collaborating with the natural and physical sciences, engineering, veterinary medicine, with other universities in the state, and with multiple companies. It is this same skill and a certain bigness in the thinking that brought about a highly productive a multifaceted partnership between Purdue University and my organization, Catholic Relief Services. You see, we operate in 100 of the poorest and most vulnerable countries. Together, through new technologies and proven know-how, we formulate holistic solutions to address the economic, social, political, and technological drivers for long-term sustained growth for the poorest in the world. Suresh's vision similarly underlies the joint partnership between Arequipa in Peru and Purdue social scientists, economists, agronomists, engineers, teachers, and so on, to identify ways to utilize mining revenues towards a just, and prosperous transition for the Peruvian people. This capacity is not just about intellect, it's about personal values and traits. Suresh has an appreciation for the contribution of each person, each discipline, and each organization. He actively seeks out the richer perspectives from many different circles whether it is in people or in disciplines, because he believes that would make us all better. There is an understanding of how much we can gain and how powerful we are as a whole, rather than in parts. Suresh's so own passion and compassion inspire parties to come together for common cause and for the greater good. He has an innate wisdom that sees how we can all win together. Because he works for the good of the institutions and for every partner involved, people are willing to come together and take on the obstacles for his initiatives. The people who worked with Suresh described him as delightfully demanding. At his farewell gathering, all speakers remarked on his ability to truly listen to them and incorporate advice without getting bogged down in decision paralysis. He is optimistic and at the same time pragmatic. 
He asks a lot, and he gives a lot. His handshake is good, and it is also fortified by clear articulation of objectives and systematic review of progress. To you, my Vermont friends, the Monters, I have two pieces of advice. First, seek opportunities to work with Suresh, as people who have done so in the past cannot hold back their gratitude for how he empowered them, supported them, drew out their strengths, and helped them transcend their own expectations. Suresh will make you better for your own development, for the university, and for humanity. My second piece of advice, take care of him, as I know he will give everything he has to take care of you. Go Monters. Thank you.